Right, so before I bring Jess on, so it's funny, so, so Nat is non-techie in communications and I am techie, <laughs> so I don't code anymore, but still there. And so, and I do public speaking and I'm seeing, and what I really love to do is, you know, tech is great, but if you can't explain what it is to someone, because it's never about the technology, it's the lo solution, if you can't explain to someone what it does, it's not going to help people come up with stuff and join the gang. So my public speaking group, they actually challenged me to explain blockchain in two minutes. So I am going to do this and for the super techies in the house. It does not include everything. But so blockchain. So who, who here actually knows what it is and could tell me what it is? Good. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> OK, so for the, the non non blockchain people in the room, here we go. Two minutes. So blockchain is simply a chain of information, chain of information blocks. Just think a bit like that. So now imagine a puzzle. So you know with a puzzle, all the pieces are different and they only go together in one way. So blockchain is very similar. You can only add to the block. And because of very special cryptography, those blocks will only fit together in a special way. And it also means you cannot go back and change the data in the block. It's immutable. Yeah. So that's kind of the whole generic, very high level concept. It's a chain of, info, of information which you cannot change and it's very secure. And it's got this other cool stuff with the crypto, with cryptography called zero proof knowledge where you can go, what's in that block? Is that person female and 35? Tell me and it'll just go yes or no. And you don't actually have to see it. So it's very, very clever. Now, the other piece of blockchain is that let's pretend I have to do list or a shopping list. And so unless I've left it on the table there and then some cheeky person starts changing it, they might even steal it, I don't have a list anymore. So with blockchain, so my chain of information, we give it to all the computers on the network. So if I therefore want to query any, anything on the blockchain, we first check that everyone still agrees that it's the same thing. And then when I add something to the list, it gets distributed so everyone has a copy of this. So it's a very secure, distributed ledger protected by clever cryptography. So that's blockchain in a nutshell. But you're probably sat there going, yeah, so what? I, don't, I still don't get why this is going to be life changing. But if I explained the internet to you 20 years ago, you'd have been like, yeah, I kind of get it. Sounds semi-useful, but I have no idea how that's going to change anything. Yet here we are. So even though we don't necessarily know how industry for the fusion of technologies of blockchain, AI, VR, automation, big data, all that sexy stuff is going to change how we live, work and interact with each other, it's going to happen.